Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we are again, it's box number five. For you who haven't watched the previous videos, we've bought a palette of six large boxes of cosmetics. I'm doing one video per box because otherwise you'd be there watching me all day or not. Um, so this is box number five, so let's see what we have in here. See if we can make any money. Um, on the last one, the one that was a premium box when we had a lot of Clinique stuff, um, it was okay, it was a far better box, however, um, a lot of Clinique stuff looked like it was fake, so I wouldn't risk to put even the ones I, the ones even the ones that looked okay on eBay. Just I just it's just not worth risking our account. So um, there's a lot of stuff happening. People obviously your listings could be sort of brought down by whoever else now for selling fakes as well. So um, anyway, nonetheless the box was okay. So let's hope that this one's going to be okay too. I'm not going to ramble on for too much again. Well, I'll try not to anyway. Let's see what we have. Okay, right. That looks like it's a lot of small stuff. So, um, got my workout out. <laughs> Let's pick, see what we've got. We have Beauty Pie, Plantastic, Cleansing Balm. Box is a bit damaged, but hopefully it's all okay inside. Um, I would make an assumption 25 pounds goes in here. Oh, we have some Chinese rubbish yet again. So returning item 40, I think that says on there. Some kids thermometer. Yeah, just, yeah. Not worth the it's rubbish. Get some of that stuff out. Uh, we have Atlas for Men. What is that? Made for Adventure. Mm. It's a razor. Wow. Mm. Wow, super duper plastic. Looks like a toy. <laughs> I doubt he's going to cut any hair. Anyway, oh, and you have a little mirror as well, I think. Oh, isn't that cute? The blokes do use them, don't they? <laughs> anyway, sorry. I'm digressing again. Right, that's just, yeah, whatever. <sighs> oh my goodness. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Are you having a ducky laugh? Yeah, I don't think so. How gross is that? This is disgusting. Okay, manscaped. <laughs> From one extreme to another. <laughs> we have a ball wipes. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is um, the manscaped one. We had a razor and we had something, all the spare parts individually, including the wipes for your balls. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> we have loads of lashes, so looks again. Or we'll have a lot. Let me just get the big stuff out. Oh, okay. My favourite, Becca, as I said before, really good one. Let's hope it's all okay inside. I have to check the items, make sure they're brand new. Um, a little gift set, should be worth at least 25 quid, so it's good. Feels rather empty though. Cargo Cosmetics, oh, okay, that's been used. Goes up there. It's a trouble sometimes, the cosmetic bits. They either get damaged or already been used, and it's a shame, because some of them is quite expensive. Beauty Pie, again, the same brand as that one. It's like 20 quid. Uh, we have, again, the Tropic Face Cloth. Okay, face cloth may be worth 8 99 But the brand is good, so we keep that. Mm, shaving kit. Well, could imagine you put a lot of it in there, could you? Uh, okay, let's get the big bits again. So this works, Deep Sleep Body Cocoon. Ooh, um, 8 99 we have another shaving cream that's not yeah i don't think that's going to be worth a lot i just put this to the side everybody's making the shave creams now okay bondi sands body moisturizer that'd be 22 pounds uh we have kuru okay that's korean or something i have no idea uh, Japanese skincare, mm, interesting. Korean cosmetics like could be worth quite a bit and actually rather good. Um, I've never seen this before, but it looks like it should be worth, I don't know, 10, 15 quid. I'll have to have a look. Uh, let's stick to the big stuff. Little bits, little bits. Uh, uh, don't like little bits. Empty bag, that's a shame. Somebody could have put some money there for us, couldn't they? It's still order, quite cute. Uh, okay, let's get the big heavy stuff. Where's a tub of ice cream? <laughs> no. We've got aloe vera gel. Uh, okay. 
Aloe vera gel is not really that expensive, but it's a big one, so maybe 15 pounds, hopefully, if you're lucky. Especially if it's organic one. We have, oh, that's a nice color. Glitter bells, but Annabelle. Looks like acrylic powder, that's a nice color. Mmm, matches my top. Sorry, just nudge my microphone there. Okay, um, yeah, it's a bit, you know, poo. Buy oil, a bigger one, probably about £10 worth. Oh, what is this? What is this? <gasps> Elemis! Eye right, treatment duo. Okay, well, that's going to be worth a little bit. Two creams, one box, sealed. It's pretty much perfect. It's got all the relevant numbers. It looks genuine. <laughs> so uh, mm, I would say maybe 60 quid. That'd be nice. Make up for some other stuff we get or don't get. L'Oreal hair touch up. Uh, one blonde. Yes. High street stuff. We have PCA skin. Never heard of this before. Uh, okay, isn't they? Uh, mm, that's a charcoal mask. So probably worth like five. Um, let's put it here. It's all so tiny. I don't want tiny stuff. We have Vino Perfect. We had that before. Serum. The box is a bit buggered, but nonetheless, it should be still worth 12 to 15 pounds. Let's get that out. Oh, we have out oh, another Ole. We seem to be getting them, so I have a set building up for those, so that's fine. Otherwise, they're only like six pounds. Let's see, we have Redken Extreme Length Shampoo Tenner. Just need the Y. Okay, what else we have? And again, there's somebody's back bedroom. Let's make cosmetics in our bedroom and sell them. No, thank you. Uh, Marks and Spencers. That looks new. Again, if I have a little bundle. Mind you, ah, it says best before 11.20. Out of date. So... We've got to smell this out. Huh? We have, what do we have? Smooth like silk face primer. Uh, I don't know. I do honestly say I don't know. But anything that face primer make up be worth at least a tenner. Um, so we've got to have a look at that. So let's say it's a tenner's worth. Laura Geller. Let's see if it's new. The little foundation. Yep, sealed. Yay! Okay. That one be worth about twelve pounds. Oh, let's see, we've got some Bulgari, like little travel size shampoo. Again, I had a lot of little Bulgaris, I think, in the bottom of one of the boxes. Still gonna make a little box. Their stuff smells amazing, and their perfumes are really, really good as well. Um, okay, I'll put this in here for my bundles. Again, loads of eyelashes. Again, you can wipe the floor with those. Oh, give me the big stuff, give me the big stuff. Organic Pharmacy, SPF 50. For some reason, you know, the creams, the face creams, or anything that's got sun protection, anything that's got SPF 50 plus, they seem to be worth a little bit more money than like a usual 15. Strange that. Anyway, 15 quid. Oh, I've got some scrunchies, of course. It's a whole selection of scrunchies, of course. <laughs> Some kitty stuff for a little girl. I honestly, don't have to ever buy her anything for hair when she grows them. Uh, more hair clips. Ugh. Okay, not great at the moment, I must say. Hair food, watermelon. Mm, I bet you that smells good. Sorry. Oh yeah. Oh. You really get the watermelon cosmetic stuff, but that smells really good. Mm, I think I might be having that. Anyway, okay, so what else we've got? Oh, some Chinese things to enlarge things again. <laughs> again. More lashes. A big ordinary glycolic acid toner. I think that'd be worth 20 quid because it's a big one. Uh, <sighs> antibacterial body wipes. Feels quite heavy actually. It's like a whole towel in there. Yeah, don't know. We have Ren Daily Our uh, Heart Tonic. Uh, Ren stuff about twelve ninety nine. We have oh another one of Origins. So I had this one in the last box. Strange that isn't it? How things just get you know. Um, 
I think it was 15 quid. We have Obsession. Revolution. Okay, that's not nothing posh, just a high streety one. This stuff is really good as well. Cheap makeup, but it's quite a good one. Morph. Okay. Right. Yeah, I gotta open and have a look. Morph, obviously they do morph palettes and they do brushes and it's faked like crazy on eBay and Amazon. Um, sometimes it's very difficult to tell. I'm gonna put this aside and then have a rummage inside and see what are they like. Uh, oh, a lot of, I don't know, stickers, face stickers or tattoos, whatever. Okay, make a bundle. I see we have another ordinary oh kale and green tea and vitamins for the youth people that's weird what is it I'd like a shampoo or something cleanser sorry face wash okay it's quite nice never heard of that learn something new every day I have a look I would take a guess again 10 15 quid as usual it's my favorite 10 15 quid yeah Okay, uh, oh, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Okay, let's have a look. Their stuff is good as well. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Okay, yeah, you've got codes. You have to match up the codes. Anyway, that's another thing for another video for you guys and girls, if you're interested. Um, Double Wear, $23.99. Mini Clarences. Uh, we used to sell those, had loads of them before, got them from clearance, and I think I'm selling them two of them for a tenner for the mini one. So let's hope we've got more than that. We've got number seven, makeup base. Oh, it's green and all. Gross. And it's been used. Ooh, let's put it in there. Okay, we have oh, super duper Chinese. Uh, well, there's a lot of effort gone in there to put some diamantes on an empty mascara case. God. Right, we have... Oh, that looks... I think... I think we had something before. A professional camouflage skin, uh, skin cream, like a foundation type thing. So you can cover like the whole tattoos with that. I think if that one is what we used to have before, the little the tiny little pot used to worth like 40 quid. So... Fingers crossed, if that's good, that could be worth maybe 60. But they do actually cover up, like, your tattoos. you got to match your skin tone perfectly, but that could. Not that I have any. But they actually do a really good job. But you do feel like you're wearing a ton of uh, plasterboard on your face. Or your skin. What well, yeah, we have? Rest and relaxation in the jar. Some CBD balm. Oh, CBD stuff. You can't sell anything to do with the CBD on eBay gets taken off god forbid you use drugs on your face um palmers again this high street thing oh that's a lot of bubble there got it we've got john frieda uh, high street l'oreal hair stuff they're worth about tenner so that's not too bad special hair colors oh Ooh, love those. Uh, YSL. <laughs> I think I've got the same colour. A little lip balms. They are amazing. This one got tester written on it. Uh, and it looks as new, actually. So I'll probably be keeping that. They are, I think I paid about 25 quid before. Um, they are really, really good. And if you're wondering, I'm opening stuff to check, like the mascaras or the lip glosses. I don't open all the way up. You can easily see if the item's been used without actually taking the lid fully and letting it air in. So anyway, that's tip for another day. Not that you need to be doing this probably, but here we are. Some Ben Gilbert <laughs> hair paste, texture paste. Again, that's probably be worth about, I don't know, nine, 10 quid. Okay. Well, what do you know? Um, that box was really heavy. I don't see a lot of heavy stuff. We've got Florida water cologne. <laughs> it looks like a bottle of vodka. <laughs> okay. That one is made in Surrey. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Um, yeah, I have no idea. i got to look into that. Um, it doesn't really inspire you when stuff is made in this country, unfortunately. Not for cosmetics anyway. But um, number seven. Eye cream. 12 quid. 
Control pick. What do we have? What do we have? I don't know what it is actually. We have some spray. Oh, you've got a little gift set. Okay. I can't see what it is. It's turned upside down. But... Oh, some other sleeping stuff. Okay, I would imagine their stuff will be worth 25 quid based on the prices of all the other Tropic stuff we get. Oh, okay. This is so heavy. This is some... Um, oh, hair. Well, what do you know? Um, hair extensions. I don't really like to deal with them because normally there are sort of like small companies that sell them. However, if you do get a real genuine virgin hair, uh, you're looking at a lot of money. I had some Russian hair before, like genuine genuine virgin Russian hair and we're talking about like 300 quid for tiny little crappy ponytail like really bad but so um, and I had some darker hair before as well and it could be worth about 50 quid so I have to look into that um yeah and see I don't know they look a bit plasticky but then who knows I need to open them up and have a look can't disregard anything in this business because um, yeah, I could be chucking something aside and it could be worth money. So everything needs to be um, investigated if I don't know it. And I don't know a lot of stuff because it's a lot of stuff out there. Okay, I think we have another layer. Oh, this, oh dear, we've got some more hair. Oh, gross, this loose. Oh, oh wonderful. Oh, he's got tags, so it's okay. It's not somebody's, you know. Wonderful. Well, you might see me one of those. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Not. Uh, we have, what is this? Oh, toothpaste. Charcoal toothpaste and a toothbrush. Charcoal toothpaste are really weird because they're literally black. Um, they do kind of work to some extent, but not as good as some others. But nonetheless, I don't have to buy toothpaste, so we'll be having this. Oh, something smells good in here. We have... Oh, Pyrology Hydrate Shampoo, 27, I think we've got them on Amazon, so there'll be another one joining that one. We have some of it leaked, uh, Max Factor Primer. Oh, wrong. I need to go in there because I need to clean in. Uh, oh, we've got another Elemis A, another Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix. Okay, some of it leaked, I just need to give it a wipe, but again, that should be worth about £30. So hidden at the bottom for some more masks um i didn't take enough of my little baskets today do you know why because they're all there upstairs waiting with the other stuff until i go through those boxes let's see what this is we have uh, barry m like little lip glosses or something color glide eyeshadow oh, eyeshadow ones again normally barry m is not worth a lot but it's a whole little bundle here so i can make a set so i would imagine they'll probably be like 12 quid for the lot 12 15 so we'll have a look. We have uh, Moksha Beauty Tea Tree Shower Gel. Oh, that, that's I think what's leaked everywhere. It's a bit greasy. Okay, we have Garnier. Oh, that's came from abroad somewhere. He's got like a, I don't touch it, we've got some Chinese Yang on the top price or something. Or I don't know, Rupees God knows what it is. But this is not from, clearly not from the Europe. God forbid putting this up for sale on eBay, Jesus. Probably get your account suspended for life. Uh, some more lashes. I don't see a huge amount of big stuff left. I really don't. I'm a bit disappointed. But see, I look at this, right? Um, and I'm like, that looks to me like a cheap and nasty thing. And this is this is was um, Elizabeth Arden. Not Elizabeth, I'm sorry, um, Estee Lauder, but it's buggered anyway, so it's rubbish. Okay, we have Aroma oh, Bath Dust. Nice colour. I keep that. I'm gonna dust myself in the bath. <laughs> oh, crikey. Some more eyelashes. Oh, that's another example. Well, somebody nicked those. Somebody liked them. Somebody in the process and decided to have them. Here's another one of example of having a, uh, well, I'm not going to say this, but you can have a look, see what that looks like. You know what they're made from, right? <laughs> Dare I say it? I'm not. <laughs> uh, we have Bare Minerals Gentle Foam Cleanser, Foil Sealed, okay, um, 14 quid, 
14.99 something like that maybe 12.99 we have we have hair care that's a nice color again pink shampoo i think i had one of those but a different scent i think they're 11.99 but i have to go on a personal account because it's sort of new bespoke brand Ooh, what is that wild oh it's get to open if something jumps Oh, do you know what I think it is? You put maybe the wax things in there? Maybe it's a wax warmer. That's it. Yeah, I think that's what it is. You know, you can buy little wax, little cartridges. Goes in there. Uh, uh, don't know. Looks weird. Yeah, don't know. Oh, yeah, we've had the shave cream. Um, well, I end up with a box of shit in the end again. Oh, dear. We seem to go through like good, bad, good, bad. Um, well, yeah. Um, honestly, I don't really know what. Yeah, it's literally just full of bubble underneath. Ah, uh, okay. It's don't get me wrong. There's money still there to be made. I gotta have to make. It's just I have to spend time doing this. And unfortunately, with having a a one year old, we and obviously working full time, it's um, we don't really get that much time. And unfortunately, things like this, it brings you money, but it requires hell of a lot of work, which is a little bit frustrating. Nonetheless, it's our job, and this is what we're going to do. So, it's basically, yes, I'm going to be separating, for example, like little travel things like this to give you an idea. You've got a little shampoo, a little conditioner, all different, um, different brands somehow. And I just literally going to make a travel bundle. I know people can now exit, you know. The counties and all that so and travel between places make a travel bundle for them and have them sort of cheap enough just if somebody wants to try good idea to try as a you know see if you like it or not for the future buys anyway so and obviously of course lashes i said i'm going to do lashes as a bundles um yeah it's just loads of travel stuff another bulgari one and of course the posh ones are going to have to go separate we've got some loofers keeping them i've got about 25 of them saved up because well you apparently you meant to change them like every once every month or so so i've got a couple of years worth of supply and yeah literally it's tiny tiny stuff i'm hoping there's going to be maybe some nyx lip gloss some sort of makeup but um okay we'll have mac well that couldn't be any faker either to be fair it just it's been used anyway and it's just nasty. You can just feel, like, you know, when the, with Mac, it costs so much money, you'll feel the quality when you pick this up. And again, it's like, the label's not even straight, and it's just paper, so it's, yeah, no. Unfortunately, no. I will be skanky if there's some bits that, if I see if it's original Mac, and if it has been, maybe, like, just fingered ones in the thingy, I will, I will keep that. But, I know, it sounds a bit, you know, triumph, but, hey. Um... Yeah, don't know. Again, some makeup bits. Anyway, we are literally, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel, to be fair, guys. I've got Clarence mascara. Okay, that looks okay. Probably about 10, 11 pounds. We have some, what is this? Extreme Black 10 Intensifier. Some 10 Intensifiers cost quite a bit, so I'm going to check this out. There's a lot of stuff in this box I don't know. Oh, look at that. Oh, next. The mirror. Mm, okay, another Bulgari thing. Oh, I got face theory, I think. Yay! Okay, some organic marula oil. Probably 15 quid. Again. 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 Uh, oh, Too Faced. Okay. Hangover. Uh, primer. They are good if they are original. Again. <laughs> This comes with a sample. I think that could be that. Um, it's quite easily um, to check is the by hearts and by plus. Again, that'd be for a different video. But again, main thing that you go off and look at in the fake stuff is the they cannot print or put the stickers centrally to the product. And this is a big, big, big giveaway a lot of the time. So I think this one is okay. But yeah, that's initially normally if you see something off center, unless it's actually literally meant to be really off center, it's fake. So. Okay, yeah, uh, some more loofers and just, yeah, some more lashes. Here we are, I am, that's it. It's literally just, this is sort of stuff that's left. Yeah, 
Okay, so, well, I've got my workout out. So, um, thank you again for very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. We have a last box left to go. And then I'll probably give you the sort of the tally up of what it is that we have and how much rubbish we have left and see what I'm going to be doing with this. So, yes, again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.